Good morning. Washington's commitment to enhance deterrence against Pyongyang is in full swing, with the Pentagon vowing to put its full effort into countering threats from the regime. Our Choi Min-jung starts us off. The United States has vowed to continue efforts to counter North Korean provocations by cooperating with South Korea. In a memorandum to Defense Department officials on Thursday, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said the U.S. will defend against and deter threats from North Korea, Iran and global terrorist organizations. Austin added that the U.S. will continue to respond to threats posed by North Korea by coordinating closely with Seoul, Tokyo and other allies. Assistant Secretary of Defense for Indo-Pacific Security Affairs Eli Ratner also stated Thursday that Washington is working to build extended deterrence against the regime's nuclear threats. Ratner added that strengthening deterrence with confidence will signal that the cost of aggression would be higher than what the aggressor can bear. He added that the U.S. is discussing new mechanisms to address important issues that matter to Seoul, which includes a better understanding of strategic operations, planning and thinking. The remarks come as Pyongyang conducted a record 69 ballistic missile tests in 2022, the most ever in a single year. The U.S. on Thursday also released a national cybersecurity strategy calling for companies to raise their cyber defenses against threats from countries like North Korea, Russia and China. The strategy released by the White House said the efforts are aimed at defending the country's critical infrastructure and dismantling threat actors. Under the strategy, firms that fail to take reasonable precautions will be held liable. According to the White House, North Korea secures around 30 percent of funds used to develop its nuclear weapons and missiles through illicit cyber activities. Choi Min-dong, Arirang News.